whole right, A1's proud, stable, and prestigious university and athletic program now finds themselves in the middle of a myriad of disasters as the first official lawsuit has been filed against Northwestern University and former head football coach Pat Fitzgerald stemming from the alleged hazing scandal that has taken place over the last few years. This story is very, very jarring, folks. The reports from the alleged hazing are gross, disgusting, weird sexual stuff going on, but let's get into it. So the first official lawsuit has been filed by an unnamed Northwestern player who was with the program from 2018 to 2022, alleging that former head football coach Pat Fitzgerald knew, encouraged, and propagated this behavior that allowed toxic hazing, weird sexual stuff, and just an overall awful environment, not only within the f football program, but then spread it out to the entirety of the athletic department. Now he's seeking over $50,000 in damages, and this is not good, folks. Pat Fitzgerald was ultimately fired from this result of this investigation into the Northwestern program, but that itself has some iffiness with it. Northwestern allegedly had some complaints that there was awful hazing going on within its football program. So they conducted a third party investigation, hired somebody in, brought them in, did their investigation, took several months. And the results of the investigation was that Fitzgerald did not know this was going on within his program. Neither him nor his coaches knew what was happening, but they said there was opportunity for them to find out what was happening, that they weren't necessarily taking the steps and overseeing their program in a pop, a positive, proper way. So he was suspended ultimately for two weeks by the president of the university from this investigation saying he didn't know what was going on, but he, you know, let it happen on his watch. So he needs to be suspended. Then a damning, damning report released by the university newspaper detailed some of the allegations and it was very disturbing, very awful saying he absolutely knew about this. And then they backtracked that suspension and ultimately fired him from this. Now, this is where things get complicated, folks. Fitzgerald has hired attorneys threatening to sue the university for him being fired after they had come to an agreement that he would just take a two-week suspension. And it's hard to parse this out, saying the investigation said, I didn't know this was happening. You can't fire me after you agree to just suspend me when they said I didn't know what was going on. Now, do I necessarily believe him? Maybe. It's really weird. Football coaches are either so absorbed with what is happening or they are super micromanagers and they have to know everything that's happening. I do find it hard to believe that he didn't know that some of this stuff was going on. But again, head coaches aren't really necessarily around the guys in the locker room as stuff is happening. They're in their office. They're doing their own thing. Pat Fitzgerald's one of the longest tenured Division I football coaches there was. And they have a really nice set setup at Northwestern. If you haven't seen their facilities, they're pretty top-notch for a team that doesn't win a lot of games and stuff. But it's a top-tier university now marred with this allegations, lawsuits, and shit. They got it going on in the entire athletics department. They just fired their baseball coach who was apparently doing the similar thing. So this lends credence to this lawsuit that Fitzgerald obviously is going to be in charge. Football is king in college sports, and he's been there forever, been there since 2006. He's running the show. First-year head baseball coach, toxic. They just fired him. So clearly something is going on at Northwestern. It's just a really ugly, ugly situation for all those involved because I like the investigation said he didn't know. So can you really fire a guy for not knowing? You could say, well, yeah, it's his job to know. That's what football coaches do. They're kind of micromanagers. They're always knowing what's going on within their program. But my counter is that some football coaches are so self-absorbed in the football, watching film, doing this, that they don't even pay attention to what's going on in the outskirts, even within the program. This is a really tough situation because if the allegations are true, it's horrendous. Now, I do want to see some evidence of these allegations. I think the report initially coming from the third party investigator said that there was hazing going on. So that does lend some credence to that. The inside reporting from the student newspaper was kind of sketchy at best for my readings. Everyone's going to tell the most extreme side of this story. So the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. 
Do I think Pat Fitzgerald knew what was going on? Probably. Do I think he encouraged it? No, but I don't think he stopped it either. Is it as extreme as some people are alleging? Probably not. Is it still really bad and really shitty? Absolutely. So Northwestern, prestigious university. Now, who knows what's going to happen with that, this athletic program? They are keeping Fitzgerald's assistance on, even though it was kind of reviewed that they all as a whole didn't know this was going on. And honestly, position coaches and assistants are way more involved with the players than a head coach is. Uh, but again, the head guy is always going to have to take the fall for this. This is a very interesting situation moving forward. I'm sure more lawsuits will be fired. Several other players have hired attorneys, possibly getting ready to file civil suits against the university and Pat Fitzgerald. Like I said, Fitzgerald has loyaled up and is expected to sue the university. Once a prestigious university, everybody loves Northwestern. Everyone in the sports media who works at ESPN or anywhere feels like they went to Northwestern. Now a serious black eye on the university and the program, and it's going to be a very, very interesting situation to see how this all plays out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did Fitzgerald know what was going on, or is he correct where he said he didn't, but he should have known what was going on? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share this video with your friends, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.